We do begin tonight with this scare over the U.S. and some of the most secure airspace around Washington, D.C. A small jet flying from Tennessee to New York, air traffic control losing contact with the pilot just 15 minutes into the flight. But that Cessna was in the air for another hour and a half before F-16s were actually scrambled to intercept it. The pilot reportedly seen slumped over. Six F-16s ordered to take off from three different bases at supersonic speeds to catch up with that small jet. Those speeds causing a sonic boom. You could hear it across the region. It was captured on surveillance cameras in neighborhoods. Thousands were alarmed by this. The F-16 pilots trying to get the Cessna pilot's attention. They stayed with that jet until the Cessna slammed into the Virginia mountainside. All four on board were killed. Tonight here, one of the leading theories, what happened to that pilot and why did it take so long for F-16s to be scrambled? ABC's Martha Raddatz leading us off tonight. Tonight, urgent new questions in the investigation into this deadly plane crash in Virginia, causing chaos in the nation's capital and fighter jets to be deployed. A small Cessna jet slamming into this rugged mountainside after the pilot passed out, all four on board killed. It was just an hour before the crash, a thunderous roar in and around Washington, D.C. Rocking homes, terrifying residents. We thought it was probably an earthquake. Authorities tonight saying that sound, a sonic boom from one of the six F-16 fighter jets breaking the sound barrier after rocketing to supersonic speeds to catch the small plane. That Cessna jet taking off from Tennessee at around 1.15 Sunday afternoon, heading to an airport on New York's Long Island. But less than 15 minutes after takeoff, the FAA saying the pilot was no longer responding to air traffic controller's instructions. Eight minutes later, the FAA alerting NORAD and other Homeland Security officials. The plane likely on autopilot, then turning around, heading back over the busy New York City airspace and continuing back towards D.C. But it would take 90 minutes before the military finally launched those F-16s, intercepting the Cessna just 20 miles northeast of Washington's Reagan National Airport. For the next half hour, those F-16s trying to get the civilian pilot's attention, firing flares and issuing warnings by radio. Multiple reports saying those fighter pilots saw the pilot of the private jet slumped over. The pressurization system in an airplane compresses the air within the cabin so there's enough oxygen for people to function normally. If the pressurization fails, then there's not enough oxygen in the cabin, people get hypoxia, they lose consciousness and sometimes die. Tonight, family members mourning the lives lost. In addition to the pilot, Adina Azarian, a prominent New York City real estate agent, her two-year-old daughter, Aria, and her nanny. Truly a tragic ending, but tonight big questions about why it took those fighter jets 90 minutes to launch while that plane was flying near New York City and the nation's capital, supposedly the most protected airspace in the country. David? Yeah, serious questions indeed. Martha Raddatz leading us off on a Monday night. Martha, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.